for focusing on speed, take away the target and focus on muzzle and save targets for when we... 175? Know. Thank you. Uh, one. Oh. <laughs> that was just a potato. <laughs> right. Yes. It went in, uh, I think, this, just like this, and then pushed it out and just came out the bottom like that because there's a little little dent right here, so it kind of flung it like that. Uh, do we want a target or? Uh, tell me a little difference about the, this new valve. Ah, uh, this is a, a new valve. Uh, what we had in there before was a ball valve, which rotated like this and then opened up nice big opening to let the air through. But we had to move it by hand, which was kind of slow. So what we did this year is we put an even larger valve in. It has a rubber pancake that's uh, horizontal here with an air chamber above it and then all the air pressure behind it. When you let go with this little air valve, you know, for spraying off farm machinery or whatnot, it lets the air out of that little area above the pancake valve here. It allows the rubber pancake valve to open up, to come up, and it lets a big shot of air come out of this. Not all of it, just, just enough to send the projectile on its way. It's very quick and it actuates very, very, very much faster than before. We're, we're getting um, uh, about 30 miles an hour more out of the projectiles and we're using less air. So that's why we did it. Rolling. Firing in five, four, three, two, one. Six. Start cameras. <laughs> three, two, one. We get it from the distance on this side, it's all completely covered. Gentlemen, start your cameras. Three, two. I, I just had one of these here. Right. I just I unscrewed it, it has a lower ring. I unscrew it just a little bit. Whoop! <laughs> and it slid back on the garage floor for some air pressure recoil. I said, yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> this is going to work really well. I'm attempting to figure out by using different pressures um, how the pressure relates to the speed of the cannonball. Uh, we did it with both cannonballs and potatoes. So we did 60 pounds per square inch, 80 and 100. Um, and then if we can measure the velocities of each one, we should be able to um, more or less graph it and be able to say, okay, at this PSI, it should be going about this fast. These last few, I was running at a thousand feet per second, frames per second. Okay. So we'll see how they come out. Sure. Because um, I was just focusing on the target, so just you know, small frames zooming in. So Let's right. do uh, one more and right. then take a vid break so we can do uh, sure. some processing. All right. <laughs> nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Holy shit! I think I heard it more than you. You got it. Well, because let me just per second. So okay seconds is going to yeah. be on top. Are you good? Yeah, we okay again? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're good. Because okay. there is one of them that I was watching the target. There are three distinct contacts. Yeah. On the on the, the back wall. I think that was at the 80 PSI. Is there any trend in like the weight of the potato? Like there the was definite ones? different okay. uh, different masses of potato. The, the the cannonballs are much more consistent between right. like 528 to 535 for uh, for grams. Mm -hmm. uh, for the potatoes, the potatoes range from like 131 grams up to 175 grams. Mm -hmm. So the lighter potatoes, I have a feeling, were the ones that actually got obliterated as a cannon. That's what that's what I was asking. Is yeah. do, should we retest one of those with a heavier potato to see if we can get an actual number? Or, or sure. should we retry? I mean, the difference is, do we we don't have data for like russet potatoes versus white potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> New well, potatoes. We are consistent with our potatoes, which is kind of nice. We do have a bag of you know oh, oh, Make sure they come out. Oh, should <laughs> slide nicely? Yeah, slide you know, nice. lard really does help a lot of things. <laughs> 45 degree angle potato. 
All right. In three, two, one. Last time we did something like that, the golf ball was a bad idea. And I wanted to make sure that was on the record. What happened? It went over the hill. The hill was supposed to stop it. It went over the hill. And, and there was houses behind that hill. <laughs> and that's why we ran. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. We're only about 35 degrees right now. Okay, so we ended up taking 11 melons, lined them all the way up on the track. And with those 11 melons, um, at first, the first shot grazed in the upper left, so we had to pull back and recenter a little bit. Fired it again, it went through all 11 of them in a row without missing, and it pretty much centered down all 11. Hey, hey, what do you got? Tell me what you got. Uh, I have uh, Mind of Mencia season one. My, uh, my sister, I didn't know I had a sister until I was 12. Uh, parents kind of kept that from me. And uh, she got me this for Christmas, one of the first years that we uh, got back together as a family, and uh, kind of wish we hadn't now. Apparently she thinks I'm hacky and a piece of trash that loves joke stealing men steal ya. Two, one. Oh, we missed. Hi, and outside. Yeah, you were before. So. Three, two, one. Oh! Okay. Where's the ball? That's a good question. Uh, you know what? I, I lost it. Holy no, crap. we did. Nice. Just, holy crap. Get just, the get that get all of that on film. A whole season of other people's jokes just gone. Oh red ringed on me twice. Not a fan of Microsoft to begin with very much. Uh, then a red ringed on me a second time. And I decided it was time to be used to scanning photo. Stand by, and wait, double check, and okay. You want a classic one-liner before we do this? No, oh, okay. just a count. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It made it through. Was that a PlayStation 3 on the inside? <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Hi, Todd. I see it. Oh, you can see me through. Yeah. The eject button. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Should I set it up again? 